Hi there everyone, I would love to tell you what today's video is about, but I have absolutely no idea because Keith won't tell me. He's got a surprise. Sometimes before a video he'll give me a little preview and tell me what's yeah. coming. Not this time, he wants to spring it on me. Keith, why? This, why? This is a quiz, I, I want you to tell me what this is. You want to embarrass me in front of people, yeah, On camera, yes, I'm okay. afraid so. But you love opening boxes, so let's, let's start do. We've there. got a little box. Oh, sorry. That's bad. Oh, it's Martin. Martin, I'm filming with Keith. <laughs> 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 it's Professor Polyakov, the Foreign Secretary of the Royal Society, interrupting important business. I should have. <laughs> I should have switched off my phone, I'm sorry. Martin sends his best. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> All right, great. Okay, bye. All right, see? We really have no idea what's coming in these videos. We've got this lovely little box, and this is MS-106. It does make me think it must be old, because it's quite a low number. It is quite old, yes. See? See, I'm, yep. already, I'm already working through... Cooking on gas. I'm already working the problem. Wow. Well, I didn't need the box to know that was old. That just looks old. Tell you what, let's, let's just turn straight to the manuscript. All right. We don't want to give you any clues. Okay. okay. I'll just take that away for you. Okay, we'll remove that. Gosh, that looks like some kind of like tribal ancient-y type thing. We've got these sort of orangey symbols and they're kind of like coats of arms and next to each one is the name of a person. Which That's right, Which makes yes. me think these are related to that person. There's one name in there that you might uh, just recognise. Something here says, this on the leg. Aha, uh -huh. a clue. That is a clue. Now I'm thinking, are these like tattoos? You're getting warm, Brady. Is there anywhere else you suggest I look? You said there might be a name I might recognise. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, here it is. Just the name there. Someone Lincoln. It says Dr. Whitgift. At this stage, he's Dean of Lincoln. Does that mean he's going to become like an Archbishop or something? Or? Archbishop of Canterbury and a very famous one too. We think this dates to around about 1571 to 1579, that kind of period. Okay. So this is the reign of Elizabeth I. Shall I put you out of your misery? I would like to have guessed. You told me mm. no one's ever guessed what it is and I would like to have been the one to get it, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> James, you got any clue? I have no idea. No? <laughs> no idea. All right. Rupert, do you know what they are? I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I do. Think about the shape of them. The shape. Where might you find those in nature? Th this is my phone a friend. Yeah. <laughs> I saw, a couple, I saw a couple on my way to work this morning, Brady. You saw a couple of these on your way to work? Yeah. I walk past the New River. I walk along the New River to get to my railway station, so... What, like duck bills or something? Yes! Oh, hey. they're, yeah. duck, they're duck bills? They're swan bills. These are the owners of these particular creatures, these swans. And what they used to do would take, be to take a pen knife and incise ownership marks on the bill of the swan. That's how they knew who owned each swan on the river. So I could walk past a swan and go, oh, that's got like an anchor symbol on its bill. That must be mm. the Dean of Lincoln swan. Exactly right, yes. In the Middle Ages, it was perfectly okay to own swans and you would have them for the table. Now, obviously, that's quite a big thing. So it would be perhaps the centrepiece of a great feast. You would, you would have a, a decorated swan in the middle of the table. And you can see why fellows of the Royal Society might have been interested in this, because it's a, it's a natural history thing. Uh, but particularly because of John Whitgift. Whitgift was one of the teachers of Francis Bacon. And Bacon was one of the founding fathers of, of science in, in Britain. And um, we know that's Joseph Banks, who is president of the Royal Society and a Lincolnshire landowner. He wrote about this kind of thing as an antiquarian topic. So um, that's why it ended up in the Royal Society's collections. It's, it has various points of interest for the fellows. 
Keith, I see there are a lot of uh, swan bill markings here that have no names next to them. Does that mean that one hasn't been apportioned ownership or do we not know? It's a difficult to tell. We don't know. It, it could be unassigned, but you would have thought that because they they troubled to make the mark there, that this might not have been completed. So they may not have known who that particular animal mm. belonged to. Or maybe everyone under a certain name owns that swan or... Possible, possible. Keith told me before that when he does tours of the Royal Society, sometimes he shows this book to people and no one has ever guessed what it is. So if you're an objectivity viewer and one day you find yourself in a tour group being led by Keith mm. and he pulls out this book, just keep quiet. Just stand quietly at the back. And then when Keith says, does anyone know what this is and looks all smug, just quietly put your hand up and say, they're swan bill markings, aren't they? Yeah, and you win the prize. Let's open these boxes. Mm. Obviously, they're not going to have goats in them, but... They have bits of goats in them. They do. That's, that's exactly what they've got in them. So here we have many, many, you can see layer after layer of what appear to be basically well, microscope slides.